responding to my request for help. Well, you are a guardian, Glaucus. And a friend. But also, how could we ignore an email with the subject heading, Legendary Purple Tide of Doom? Uh, a good spam filter might help. I am fortunate indeed that your spam filter is inadequate. My home island of Katanui is in great peril. The Purple Tide, an event spoken of only in myth, has visited our shores once again, spelling doom and destruction for my people. Yikes. Glaucus, I may be missing something, but I can't find any records of such an event in the last century. That could be why it's only spoken of in myth. As in, not real. But every myth is based in reality. Says who? Says that! Hold on, everyone! <laughs> uh, Jeffrey! Uh, 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 uh. You okay, Jeffrey? Uh! So that's what doom and destruction looks like. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. They look like Nemura's jellyfish. A whole lot of Nemura's jellyfish. They're beautiful. Gelatinous blobs with venomous tentacles. So beautiful. Well, Jeffrey thinks they're beautiful. That's his enchanted face. Ugh. We've got company. What is it with guardians and rowboats? Welcome aboard, Glaucus. Thank you, Nectans. So, who are the big stone guys? Ah, the statues were built by my ancestors. The first of their kind was known as the Protector. Cool name! Its job was to watch the sea and call another island for help, if the Purple Tide ever returned. Someone's not doing their job, then. That was a joke, Glaucus. Ah. An excellent one, I'm sure. The scroll tells of an event a thousand years ago, when the Purple Tide threatened my people, decimating the fish stocks and other sea life they relied upon for food. So seafood was off the menu for a while, huh? No, most of them starved. They all would have eventually, but the Protector saved them. With climate change, your people can only expect more and more destructive blooms like this one. Sadly, you're right. But somehow, the Protector's actions stopped the bloom here. How? I've yet to discover that. And we need to. Or I fear my people will not be as fortunate as my ancestors. Well, a myth that lasts a thousand years is remembered for a reason. We just need to figure out what it is. Or we could take the easy option and solve global warming instead. Hmm. That's not an easy thing to solve. Joke, Glaucus. Ah. So, Glaucus... Which one of the statues is the protector? None of them. In the Guardian archives, I found a document describing how the protector died and was buried. He now lives in the underworld, which is where you come in, Nectins. Underwater caves? Huh. Very perceptive, Ant. But I've yet to find an entrance to this underworld anywhere on the island. Then let's take a deeper look. Jeffrey is coming? Sure. Otherwise, he'd be lonely. <laughs> Good one, Antaeus. Uh, that wasn't a joke, Glaucus. Oh, um, my apologies. Don't worry. You were right to be confused. It's okay, Jeffrey. They can't hurt us in the night. Ah! Ah! Jellyfish attack! Ah! There you go. <laughs> Hero. Ah, good demonstration, Fontaine. <laughs> Learn from this, Jeffrey. Follow me and stay low. The bloom isn't as dense down here. 
Sonar is picking up a hollow area and the rock shelf up ahead. Bam! Come on! Time to find the truth behind the myth! Looks promising. My ancestors may have indeed come this way. Does this mean you're starting to believe in the power of myth, Fontaine? Huh? Not unless your ancestors left a clue here on where the Protector is. If they did, they did not tell me. Earthquake, we need to go! Now! It stopped. Where did it go? <laughs> Strange. My instruments aren't detecting any seismic activity. Then can someone please tell me what that was? The legend says that when the purple tide comes, the island will shake with fear. No offense, but... Does anybody have another answer? Jeffrey? Where are you going? Jeffrey! Jeffrey, you are a hero! Wow! The Protector! Doesn't get much realer than that, eh, Fontaine? Yep, it's definitely real. And it's definitely missing its head. I don't suppose the Protector is meant to be headless? No, the Protector must be intact to... protect. Oh, then this is not good. Regardless, we should get back to the Knights. Hang on, I heard something. <laughs> Ant, we need to go. Yeah. You're right. We need to go now. to Jeffrey. Well, the Knights and the Rovers seem basically okay. We are not going to be ambushed like that again. Everyone get ready to suit up the moment we hear the next tremor. Where's the water coming from? My guess is volcanic vents, like natural pipes. Maybe some man-made ones built by your grandparents as well, Glaucus. Yes. My ancestors must have extended the natural vents you speak of, Will. You think this belongs to your ancestors, too? Where did you find that? Well, there's a bunch of old stuff here. It is all beginning to make sense. The Guardian Archives mentioned a tribe of conquerors who came to Katanui long ago. They were the ones who destroyed the statue. Along with my ancestors' culture. And what was once a real-life truth gradually became a myth. Hmm. Maybe. We shouldn't ignore the past, but if we don't do something about those jellyfish, your people won't have much of a future on Katanui either. You mean they'll starve? Well, these days we have supply ships and planes, but things would be a lot tougher. If only we knew the true purpose of the Protector. Everyone, suit up! in all this mythical mumbo-jumbo. If you stare at the myth long enough, eventually, the myth stares back. That makes no sense at all. But it does give me an idea. If it's a good one, it's half mine. Glaucus, were there other statues built after the Protector? Yes, they were built as a tribute after the Protector died. Can we get a satellite map of Katanui up on screen? Huh. The statues are all looking out to sea, and I was just wondering why. Okay. 
What happens if we track the sight lines of all the statues? Amazing! They all converge at one point. Perhaps that is the location of the other island. I don't think so, Glaucus. Nothing but open ocean out there. But they're looking at something, right? Nothing. The statues can't all be looking at the same empty bit of sea. True. Because I'm pretty sure Glaucus's ancestors weren't the practical Joker types. That's some amazing detective work, Ant. Hey! Lump! Excuse me? Not you! There's a lump! In the sea floor! Mom? We're gonna need the rover down here. Found it. The legend is true. This is a wonderful day. Remember what I said about myths? It's hard to deny myths can stare back at you when one is literally staring back at you. Will, meet us at the cave. It's time to resurrect the protector. I'm on my way. <laughs> Hold this for me, would you? Heavier than it looks. The Protector has been lying safely under the sea floor for hundreds of years. Please, try not to break it in the first five minutes. He's really starting to get the hang of this joke thing. I am not joking. I have been preparing for this moment for a very long time. Here, let me help you with that, Dad. Thanks, Fontaine. Okay. Take away. Is this gonna take much longer? Okay, ready. You push, I'll pull. Just need to light it up. Yeah! <laughs> the protector is reborn. a mythic letdown. Perhaps we have made a mistake. I fear we have angered the protector. If it's angry and not protecting, it might be time to think up a new name for this statue. We need to go. Everyone in the water. It's about to blow. Toward the statue now? Kinda hard to miss. Ah, someone needs to protect us from the protector! Jeffrey! Gotcha! That is some strong suction! These vents must all lead back to the protector! It's okay, Jeffrey! Wait till the current lets up, and I'll get you out of here. Whoa! Okay, I think somebody forgot to tell the jellyfish the protector is back. Where's Ant? Uh, Jeffrey's in a bit of a sucky situation. All right, we're coming back to get you. No, it's okay. I got this. I'll be right behind you. Okay, but don't spend any longer than you need to in there. Be patient, Jeffrey. You know how jellyfish blooms can clog up the pipes of hydroelectric plants? I think when the natural waterways are blocked on Katanui, these man-made ones take over, and the flow of water gets directed straight into the protector. Exactly! As the water pressure builds, it's forced up through the mouth of the statue. Making that noise! Now I bet the pressure will drop for a second. Yes! Gotcha! Ant, where are you? Okay, Mom, we're coming now! Any idea 
why your ancestors built something that did nothing but make a really loud, really annoying noise? The legend is clear. It says the Protector will summon another island to help Kotanui. Does the legend say how long that will take? No, it does not. Ant, any change where you are? What are the jellyfish doing? Um, wobbling mostly, but I think that's normal. Maybe we need to reevaluate the myth. No, the legend is clear on this point. So it's summoning? It is summoning. Kotanui is one of the most isolated spots on the planet. There are no other islands around. The legend has guided us correctly until now, Fontaine. Doesn't an island from nowhere sound a little crazy, even to you, Glaucus? There's something huge on sonar, right behind us. No, not crazy at all. Let's get a better look. If I'm not mistaken, it could be an island. Okay, now is not the moment for you to start making jokes, Glaucus. I am not joking. But islands don't move. And yet... Ant, get back to the air and X now! What? What is it? Is something happening to the jellyfish? You could say that. Something big. It's not an island, Ant. It's the Monumental Turtle. No way! Our old buddy! He's not looking too friendly today. You need to get back here fast. Copy that. The legend was right. A moving island will save us. Um, don't want to ruin the vibe, but are you sure it's coming to save us? I mean, can it even see us? Can a whale see a flea? You know, I'm starting to miss the old joke-free Glaucus. I would not joke about such things. The Monumentals exist on a different level. Their concerns are not our concerns. Uh-huh. Should we be concerned about that? It's going to eat the Aranax! Strap in! This is going to get rough! Ant? Where are you? We're back! Ant! Grab onto something! Brace yourself, Jeffrey! A rowboat. A rowboat would never be capable of... Ah, of course. Another excellent joke, Fontaine. Ant, you okay? Yeah, we're okay. The Protector called for the turtle. And the turtle island came. Nature's balance is being restored. Amazing. So, I guess there was logic in the myth after all. Of course there was. When the jellyfish come, they clog the natural waterways. Man-made pipes then take over and make the protector bellow. And the wonderful bellowing noise summons the turtle. That is so smart. <laughs> Are you sure they were your ancestors, Glaucus? <laughs> I am understanding now. Very humorous. <laughs> But who are you to judge smart? Ha! <laughs> you just got owned. I really did. <laughs> Thank you, Nectins. You have saved my island and my people. Then, uh, why do you look so unhappy? A monumental that's awake. I'm relieved for my people, but frightened, too. So many monumentals waking lately. Hmm. The any giant turtle lullabies in the Guardian Archives? This is no joking matter, Antaeus. 
When monumentals are waking, the world is in great peril. And we know the only thing that can put them back to sleep is the scepter of Queen Dorius. Somewhere in Lemuria. And it seems Lemuria is still far from being found. Unless you're closer than you think. Until next time, Nectins! I can't tell. Is he joking? He doesn't joke about those things. Maybe Guardian humor is more sophisticated. Are you joking now? I really can't tell anymore. <laughs>